Hi, this is Dr. Lawrence and I'm here with my daughter Kaya and uh, what we're going to talk about today, this major concept I think is going to actually increase, it will actually be impactful. This study was done um, quite some time, about a year or two years ago and uh, I came across this article and it was fantastic to, he to see this and uh, what I wanted to show you is that this concept will increase your lifespan, there's no doubt about that, increase your health, but more importantly it will increase your energy and um, if you don't know this concept, you're going to basically decrease your lifespan, uh, live in a disease state, and also live a life uh, with living a life of lie, lies, really, because you don't realize that you can change your life, and, and we're, we're told to believe that we can't change. So let me um, tell you exactly what, what I found. I want to show you this particular study, and the study is called The Healthy Lifestyle Triggers Genetic Changes, and it was a study done in, um, by, by a small group of researchers, um, with using a small group of uh, 30 men of low-risk prostate cancer, uh, as you can tell, and uh, who decided against conventional medical treatment, uh, such as surgery or hormone therapy or radiation. And so uh, what they've done is they went under three months of major lifestyle changes. Well, they say major, um, but really they just had a diet risk in fruits and vegetables, um, uh, whole grains and legumes and soy products. They also had moderate exercise. They had an hour of daily stress management as well. So those are the three major things that they actually increased. So what are the results? Well, obviously, as expected, um, they, their weight changed. They lost a lot of weight, and they lowered their blood pressure and saw a whole bunch of healthy changes. Now, that's not to be expected because we all kind of know about that. What did change, though, that was dramatically that the scientists didn't expect was that in the, in the 90 days is that they were actually able to change um, genetically, uh, their genes and how they uh, how they reacted during the 90 day study. So what that happened was they found that they compared the prostate biopsies and they found dramatic changes between before and after. So after three months, the men change in activities caused about 500 of them and 48 of them of the 500 genes that were turned on and 453 of the genes that were turned off. Now, most people don't realize that genes can be turned on and off. Now, a lot of us are meant to believe that genes are either genetic and therefore it's passed on by our parents. We can't do anything about it. But genes are actually influenced by being turned on and off. If you're actually interested in type this type of thing, you should go and do a, a, a go read this book called Biology of Belief uh, by, by a gentleman by Dr. Bruce Lipton. It's a fantastic book. And uh, his book talked about genes are being able to ability um, to turn on and off, just like a light switch. So what turns it on and turns it off? Well, what they found is that the environment is what changes the uh, genes on and off. So environment doesn't necessarily mean um, you know pollution and everything. Well, that does have an impact, but it's also environment is the things that you live and live and breathe. So also food that you ingest is part of your environment. The lifestyle that you lead is part of the environment. So they, they, what they found is that the What's interesting about this particular study found that the, the disease preventing genes, that genes are preventing disease for prostate cancer, uh, increased over that 90 day period just from these uh, simple changes. And the disease promoting genes, what promotes prostate cancer, actually in, uh, decreased during the study in 90 days. And this goes for the, the same ones that are involved with prostate cancer or breast cancer. So what's important that you need to understand, and Dean Ornish, who, who is the head of the study, um, said that basically changing this is exciting finding, is that some people are changing it, you can actually influence your genes dramatically. So what are some of the things you can do right away? Well, first of all, using my SMART method, SMART being small, eating superfoods, right? Eating smart, smart, more fruits and veggies. Number two is going out and exercise. It's only half an hour a day they exercise. And third is attitude is looking at how your activity levels and your meditation levels or just looking at a good good aspect of life is very important. The fourth thing is obviously reducing the toxins that will can trigger these problems in your body. So what can you do right away? Well, my suggestion is start to increase your veg fruits and veggies each day. Increase it by one fruit or one veggies per day, right, for per meal if you can, and do it for a week, just a one extra one per week. And then within each week, increase it to another one. And sooner or later, you're gonna have a lot of more chances of um, increasing your, your ability to change genes. And you notice that Kai is trying to adjust me. <laughs> She's learning how to become a chiropractor now. And so, so I, on, on, I would encourage you to do this one thing if you can, is to increase your fruits and veggies, and simply by doing that, each and every week, you will actually change you. 
and you would just do it for 90 days and see how well it may affect you. You would lose the weight, but more importantly, you will actually prevent diseases. So I better get back to her. I hope that you learned something today, and I look forward to talking to you soon. My name is Dr. Lawrence, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this particular update on health. I'm going to give you some more stuff. I'm in a, working on a process of doing some interviews with some health experts at the moment. I'll share those details with you soon. Take care. Say bye. You want to say bye? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care now. Bye-bye.